everybody, this is Bonnie, and I'm going to share my craft room with you. There's a few things as I go around the room that I'll explain to you that are not completely finished because um, I am still waiting on like my Ikea cart and different things, and I'll explain that as I go. So let's start right here. Um, this is just an extra table that's behind my door. And then when you get here, the bottom shelf just has like office supply type stuff. Um, extra ink for my, um, what do you call it, uh, printer that I use to print photos from my phone so I can scrapbook with them. So um, I have that. And then the next shelf is just um, some books that I reference to and all my Stampin' Up! catalogs and things for my business related. So that stuff is there. These two shelves are just scrapbooks and stuff. And the top shelves up there... Um, those are memorabilia things that I just keep things that the kids made me cards, pictures that I'm not going to scrapbook. Um, but I just kept them. So those are up there. And then as you go over that basket is the basket that I use at my scrapbooking classes. I fill it up with everything that I need to take to the other room and I carry it all out there and that's how I transport it. Those are just like business type, um, containers one is like stuff to display my scrapbooking pages and stuff and then there's an extra heat and gun and then alternate stuff that I can repurpose then more scrapbooking pages more scrapbooks and then I have um my laminator right there in film that I need to develop since my son has graduated. That's really bad. It's been like two years now. I really need to get that developed. And then this is um my scrapbooking Stamping up scrapbooking 12 by 12 paper. Um, I'll get a little closer. What I did here was I separated them by family. This is like the in color family. And then here I have like the regals in the um, neutrals. And then, or not neutrals. Uh, I don't know. And then I have the brights and the neutrals here. And then I have my black and white there. This is all designer series paper. I'm waiting for these little folders that go inside these crapper hoppers that um, can hold your scraps. Because some of these, like I have scraps in there and this is ripping. So I'm thinking that'll be better. So that's one thing I'm waiting on. But I did go through it all. And then this down here is just discontinued um, scrapbooking paper then all that over there is non-stamping up scrapbooking paper. The last, and those two boxes there are just cards that I've made that I haven't put in with the stuff that I sell for my craft fairs yet. This first bin is like stamps that I bought that are non-stamping up that are like from the dollar store or um, that I'm going to put in cases. I'm just waiting for the cases to come. And then these are two miscellaneous bins that I have no clue. They don't really have a spot and I didn't know where to put them. So I just made two miscellaneous bins. So that's where that stuff is. And then that's the door into my bedroom. And then you come around here and I'm not going to go through everything, but like those are beads and then my project life stuff. And then that one bin that's right here that has got my um, baker's twine and then these have hair and stuff for clay and jewelry that I do. And then I just played a few of my cards. And then down here, these are photos that I have to scrapbook yet. These are all my 6x6 six six or 8x6 um, scrapbooking paper that Stampin' Up! sells. And that's all right there. Those are some boxes that me and my girls are going to alternate to put shells on from our trip. And then this is paper pumpkin kits that have yet to be put together. And another little card kit there. Those are my extra markers that I take out for workshops. Then when you get over to this table, this is a handy little thing that I got 50% um, off at Michael's. It holds all your washi tape. And on the bottom, I have a little room to grow. And then this has got my printer in it that I use for the hook up to my phone so I can print um, my pictures off my phone. And this is how I store my ribbon. This is non-stamping up ribbon. And I like it this way so I could see what I have and I can just grab what I need and grab it out. And I just um, rolled it on some little like tags. And then over here, this is all stamping up um, 
stuff and I just got it pinned in the back and I got them labeled to what kind they are and I can just grab it and use it and it's not on the spools. Now I have this one still on the spool because I got it as a gift from my upline and I had already had these done so this one has to get put on one of them. This right here is just extra already pre-cut cardstock that um, I can use and then back here I don't know if it's going to stay there but it's there for now. It's got my watercolor pencils and those rolly things that are in there. So we'll continue down and then these are all labeled like I have my envelopes and then just supplies and that one metal um, embellishment supplies glitter embossing powder um, that's close to my heart stamps and then those are tools um, on that far one that's just got like my crocodile and my brayer and stuff like that in it these two that I use all the time those are my stamping up extra supplies and those are my stamping up embellishments so those are right there because I use them all the time those are just some extra office supplies there then going around, let's <coughs> see how far I can back up here. I have all my stamps, and um, I have them in uh, on this shelf. These are all the in colors. I'll kind of get close enough so you could see a couple here. I how I do my stamps is when I get one, I put a number on it, what page it's on. If it's in yellow, it's in the main catalog. And then that means um, it's on page 18, so I can reference it to my customers when I use it at the workshop that it's on page 18 if they're interested in buying it. I have to buy some end caps right now, or bookends. I didn't think about this when I put these shelves up. So for right now, my punches are holding them up there until I get some. And then, <coughs> excuse me. If they're in blue like this, they were in the holiday catalog. Some of these have transferred over, some have not. And then up there, I haven't labeled them, but usually I give them another color, and those are in the occasions catalog. And I haven't given them a color yet, but that's how I do it. And then I change them all when the new catalog comes out. Um, I switch everything out. So that's what I do there. And then I have my little kind of <coughs> Pampered Chef turnabout tool. It has all my little goodies in there. I don't know how much is going to stay in there after I get my... Um, a Kia cart that's coming. These are my paper towels. I want to mount them right here. I just, on the bottom of the shelf, I just haven't done it. And then I have my extra little tools back there and my markers. And then this little thing here. Well, I don't want to tip the camera and make it too shaky. Um, this little thing my husband made me, it's made out of that poster board. There's a tutorial online for that. And it works for me. I love it. And I'm not going to change it. So that um, I've had that and I use that. And then these are my other um, coloring blending markers that I have right there. And these I left on the shelf right here. And soon I'll have to do another video. My husband's going to have this little concoction coming out for my video. For when I do my videos. Because I'll be videotaping right here. But um, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> and then going over... On these shelves are all my discontinued stamps that I just can't seem to depart with yet. My kids come in and use these. They can use whatever they want. They can use the other ones. They just have to um, ask and that too. So um, I have all them. And then this is my daughter's area. My daughter Paige, she scrapbooks with me. She likes to do that. This is her paper. These are the discontinued. She gets all the discontinued stuff. I give her the markers. I give the stamp heads. Everything to her when it's done. And then that's her little storage stuff. And down below she has storage and extra paper. And this is just her area. <coughs> Excuse me. I let her do what she wants with it. These are her personal stamps that I've given her. We unmounted them off the wooden stuff. We still have a few more to go. We ran out of CD. We have two, but we have a couple more to go. That's hers, and that next shelf is hers with all her goodies. And those up there are like cleaning type supplies that I use or um, alcohol for different techniques and stuff. That's all there. And then I have my re-inker and stickles and different stuff that I use there. This is all hers, how she's got it organized. I don't know. That's her shelf. This is all her stuff. So <laughs> that's her area right there. 
Then I got this shelf that just came from Walmart. It's another shelf from Walmart. Um, it works for me. I didn't need anything bigger or whatever. And I just have, I use a lot of shoe boxes. I like shoe boxes. You can see through them and you can label them and it works really nice. And um, I just have extra ribbon stuff for when I do hair bows and manuals and my patterns and stuff up there. And then I have my Xyron machine and um, that little dream kit cuts out uh, scrapbooking mount pages for me, which I love for when I do pages. And then I have my other little tools there, the punch boards and everything, scales for when I mail stuff. And then I just have bins with stickers and flowers and my bind it all. And um, then I have uh, my Cricut is in that flip-flop bag. That's where my Cricut is. I just pull it down. My Gypsy's in there. Anything that pertains to the Cricut, but the cartridges are in these two cases there. And that's how I store them. And then I just pull it out and pull that out when I need it. And then there's just um, right there's like glue gun. And those are alternating supplies and bags and extra glue and stuff. That purple container there is stuff I use to display stuff at my um, workshops and everything. Those are my beads and stuff down there, an extra cutter. And that right there is all the school supplies and everything that I let the kids need, extra pencils, um, folders and stuff. That's their spot for when they need something and they run out. Then going around, this is one of my special little walls that I love. Um, I can't show it to you. I can't back up any further because of the counter. But um, I made this little thing goes across to hang my cards on. And then I have these extra little photo things. I've had them forever. I just hadn't had them up. So now they're up and they got a home, which I'm really excited about. These ones from when we went to the beach this summer. I got to put some pictures on. I got to print them. And so I'm going to do that. And then I have an extra one of these. And I'm going to put it right up there and I'm going to put Bonnie's Creative Place on it. I'm going to make that. I'll have to show you that sometime. And then this is just how I store. I have some extra little cards that I made up there, but this is how I store my reinker. I put um, a reinker in there and then, well, that one doesn't have one. And then <laughs> it has an extra sponge as the reinker and the sponge in there. So um, I can take them out for a workshop if I use them, but that's how I store that type of stuff there. Um, this cart, I got at Walmart, um, and it holds all my Sizzix stuff. On the bottom, it has Sizzix stuff, and then it has um, the other ones from Stampin' Up! and different places that you can get, and then my Big Shot. Um, those ones in this bin here are retired. Now, this stuff that's all here, except for this purple bin that's right here in the back, will not be on this. This is all going to go on my Ikea cart when I get it. Um, but they said it could take up to two weeks. So for now, this is its home until I get my cart. And then uh, these are the current um, thinlets and stuff like that. So that will stay on the top with the Big Shot. And then this will be my station. I can just turn around, cut what I need, and go back to work. Well, down here on the floor, I have punches that are also going to go on my IKEA cart. But again, I don't have it. That's some stuff I'm giving away, and those are two empty shoe boxes that I haven't found a purpose for yet. Hmm. And then this is my sewing area. This is my other passion that I absolutely love. Um, this is my embroidery sewing machine, and this is where those are projects that I'm finishing up. And um, this right here is where I keep all my sewing stuff, except for that one little box there that's got um, co printer copy paper in it there. But up top, I keep all my embroidery thread. The clock needs a battery, so don't mind that. And then I have that for room to grow. I bought these little candy dishes. This is full of buttons, and this is full of embroidery thread. Or not embroidery thread, um, that DMC thread. It's, it is embroidery thread, but it's not for the embroidery machine thread. It's different kind of embroidery thread. And then I have my little Stampin' Up! bag and my embroidery hooks on the back of my door. And then you're back around to the beginning. Um, that's pretty much it. This is my, uh, room, everybody. Oh, I don't know. Did I show you my files? I think I switched this up too. Sorry if I walked too fast and made anybody dizzy. Um, this is how I store my paper. I've always stored my paper in the filing folder, but um, 
and I've always stored my scraps in these, but they used to be in separate things. So now I've just gone and like this is off-white right here, and right behind it is my off-white scraps. So I know now all my paper, I have two filing cabinets, which um, will hold everything. My chair's not in here right now. I, I uh, have it in the other room. I moved some stuff out. Um, my chair is just like pages, and it sits here. And down there in that little bin, I have my Simply Score or my score tool from Stampin' Up so I can easily grab it and use it. And then on the top right here of this one, I just have my cutter and my cutting mat so I can grab that quick when I need it. So uh, that's it, and that's where my heating tool goes, and I plug it in. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll show you a video when my IKEA cart comes, and I will also show you a video of my... Um, of my uh, camera system that um, my husband's going to hook up for me in case anybody else wants to try that. Well, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed my video. And um, I got a lot of these ideas from other people on Pinterest and out there on the web, just watching a lot of videos and stuff. And um, I want to thank everybody. I don't know everybody that I got the ideas from, but um, it was a truly inspiration. So thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.